Welcome to our Stu reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition for your messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, Please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring hell and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Taurus. So let's go ahead and see what is your January looking like. All right. So let's go ahead and start with these cards here. Um, Spirit, can you please reveal to me what do we need to know about Taurus in the month of January? What does Taurus need to know about what is uh, going on in their month in January? What does Taurus need to know? What is coming towards Taurus in the month of January? Let's see. Hmm. All right, this is interesting. So overall, I see her a friend. So you could be uh, re being reacquainted with a friend. Also, we have sorrow. We have Lord. And we have reunion. So... I have a feeling like you're really sad. That you have to be in a certain situation. You really want to be in reunion with your friend over here. But I really feel like you have obligations um, that you're tied down to. And you're really sad because of this. I have a feeling like you really want to be with a particular person in the month of January. Um, but you have to like either keep your composure or really um, be filial, if you will. I don't know why I'm getting that, but um, like you don't want to cross boundaries. You know, you want to make everything fair, but you're really sad because you really wanted to see your friend. And maybe it, it possibly is, you know, you, you probably couldn't. Let's see what else. All right. So I see here um, joyfulness and reverse and a thief. You're not happy because um, someone, someone took the I want to say the opportunity for you to come together with your friend okay so this could be an event it could be a particular person I see here a surprise so it was a surprise that someone interfered in them coming together with you and a friend Okay, I don't know why I'm getting that. So there must be someone that um, is near and dear to you, someone who is really important. And you're really sad that you had to kind of keep your composure, not really, I don't know, I don't know, is this person a secret or something like that? Because, or maybe someone that you haven't seen for such a long time, but there is a particular person that you're you're quite fond of and um, there could have been an opportunity to be with your friend physically, but um, that didn't happen.
Maybe it's because there's uh, like a third party that is uh, actually in the situation. She said there's like a little bit of shaking. What the hell is that? Sorry, was I speaking out loud? <laughs> but it's coming uh, to you as a surprise. So very interesting. All right. Let's see what else. Spirit, what else do we need to know about Taurus in the month of January? What does Taurus need to be aware of? I see here there's a true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So whoever your friend is, I feel like is your true love. Okay. Also go slow. Take time to get to know each other. So instead of rushing through things, I really feel like, you know, this is like a slow process of getting to know them. Um, so the, the overall energy here is of a surprise that there's a bit of unhappiness here that you really wanted to be with this person but you had to keep your composure like i keep getting that so like are you like just putting up a wall like no you can't see your friend but really you've been talking to your friend you wanted to meet them you wanted to be with them but something is actually getting in the way i mean it could be a financial situation where you guys couldn't really uh get together maybe there was a surprise that there are surprise bills maybe um I don't know. There's something like that that's going on now. Whoever this person is, this is your true love, your friend. So whether or not you're in a relationship with somebody right now, or I don't know what you got going on towards, but there is somebody who you you feel like this connection with. You're not with them. I'm not feeling like you're with them. But something is preventing you to to really be together physically. Okay, it's going to be different for everyone. Let's go ahead and see. What is your person's energy? Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is this person's energy towards my lovely Taurus for the month of January? What can you tell me about this person's energy? Wow, there's a lot. Hmm. We have a honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So there could be travel here. Also an engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so engagement, honeymoon. Also there's passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So I have a feeling, like I said, I feel like you guys are not together. This person feels that you are worth waiting for. There is this passion that is undeniable between the two of you. I really feel also that um, they want to get together with you over like some sort of like a special occasion. Um, this could be overseas travel. This could be like over a body of water. Like maybe this person is at a distance from you. Um, they really want to. Uh, I really feel like what this energy is about is about engaging in conversation, about going down memory lane, about talking about the past, about times you guys used to spend with one another near a body of water or over the ocean, maybe in a boat. And that must be for some. I'm really getting like there's this holiday time together. Like maybe uh, you spoken to this person during the holidays and um, they're anticipating um, this uh, energy of being with you. However, I saw that there could have been some sort of financial situation that put a monkey wrench in the plans of you meeting up with your friend. And um, 
this person's like, hey, you know what? You're worth waiting for. I'm feeling this passion. You know, I have these memories of you. I want to engage with you still. This could be like just continuing conversation with this person over text messaging. Okay. Um, for some, it could be an actual phone conversation. But the energy is about going slow with your true love. Take your time. Get to know each other. Like there is no rush is what I'm sensing. Like, um, and, and I see that because we're going through a Mercury retrograde up until the middle of January. And so perhaps, you know, things are delayed. Um, even though that you had made plans, it didn't fall through. You're kind of sad that it didn't work out the way that you had anticipated. But um, the surprise I feel is that you actually get to know them through conversation through text messaging or or something like that so it's actually a um a blessing in disguise is what i'm hearing that you're having the opportunity to um get to know them in this way instead of rushing and uh you know having a reunion with this person in a physical sense that's what I see. So let's see what else. Spirit, can you tell me a little bit more about this person's energy? Please reveal to me what is this person's energy towards Taurus? What is this person's energy towards the sign of Taurus? Thank you. So I'm seeing here page of pentacles in reverse. There's bad news. Um, okay, so this one says lazy, immature, disloyal. So they're not making things happen in this month per se. Okay, I'm not really getting a sense of disloyalty. I'm just feeling like there's just really bad news. Like they can't make it or... You know, maybe you've made plans towards uh, meeting up with this person, but you couldn't make it for whatever reason. I really feel like it's it's okay. Universe planned it this way. Now, what are their thoughts? So your person is thinking. We have here the Eight of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Swords energy. And what I'm getting with this is that your person is wanting to let go of feeling like they're not good enough. Okay. Maybe your person is moving on and they're accepting that they got abandoned. Now, I don't know if this is them thinking that they got abandoned by you. Maybe they abandoned the connection with you, but they're thinking Maybe this person is, is leaving a, you know, a person that they're dealing with um, because they found out that their partner was a gold digger and they're just being dishonest with them. And so they're, they're taking their loss. OK, so um, for your person's energy, they're accepting their loss, whatever that they invested into, you know, they're accepting that it didn't turn out the way that they had planned. They may have lost fin financial stability out of it. Like if they had like, you know, a savings or any kind of assets, you know, maybe they have to divvy out those things uh, just so they can free themselves from a past lover, okay, a recent past lover. That's one feeling, but I'm really getting that either they abandoned you or you abandoned them. And for whatever reason, both you guys didn't feel good about coming back. Okay. It was like accepting the terms of what happened between the two of you. Now, how do they feel? We have five of swords with the eight of pentacles and also the moon in reverse. So I'm seeing that they're feeling like they need to walk away. And they're feeling this confidence to tell you the truth. That they're leaving a situation behind. 
they feel defeated. So there's this energy of someone walking away from a situation. They want to come forward. That's why you're sad. You're sad that there is a potential for a reunion, but it didn't happen because there was something that happened. Like either they let go of someone, like they were in another commitment with someone and they had to let it go and they need time to mend, to heal. Let's see, what is the intention? Their intention is we have here the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Cups in reverse and also the Three of Wands in reverse. The intentions is to really hold back, okay? For some, they're moving back home. Maybe um, they don't have any plans, but they do want to know if you will forgive them for being so stagnant, for not being able to come towards you as you know, like they promised. I feel like maybe this person made a promise and they couldn't keep their promise because of something that happened to them. I feel like it could have been a financial situation or maybe they're just not feeling secure. If your person was coupled up with a karmic partner, they had to give all their money towards the karmic. Okay. And that left them with nothing. And so uh, they have to rebuild themselves is what I'm getting. They're not in a position to have a reunion with you. Okay, but I really feel that they're really sad that it didn't happen the way that they planned. That's why I keep getting. Now, in the outcome, I see here the Six of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands in reverse. So there's a lot of like holdback, a lot of delays. So if you made plans um, previously, the plans are not falling through. Okay, and I really feel like it's just a part of the retrograde energy that we're getting. Maybe it's a time to slow down. So that's why Spirit is saying go slow. This is your true love. If this is a true love, there's nothing to really worry about. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So your person doesn't know what to do. They're being distracted. There's a sort of setback here, okay, where they're not putting any effort into making their approach. It's because of their ego. So this person's ego is getting in the way, and um, they don't know what to do. They don't know if they should come back towards you, even though as much as they were talking about it. They need to let go of feeling guilty, okay? Um they don't want to mess up and that's why they're they're delaying okay they're they're healing from moving on from a situation and they're accepting there's a lot of uh energy about your person about accepting whatever they couldn't change in the past um maybe uh this particular person felt like they weren't good enough for you so that's why they walked away you know, maybe this is a person where they walked away from a partner. Let's say that they're married and you were waiting on this person to get a divorce. So they had an issue of walking away from that commitment to be with you, but they're not in a position to be with you just yet. Because they're they're actually still healing from a breakup or, or something like that. Okay. I really feel like there's a letting go or an, um, a feeling of acceptance of what has happened. But, you know, if you're watching this and you feel like, you know, I'm speaking about the person that you're connected to, this person will come back. They just need time. Okay. It's a very slow moving energy is what I'm picking up on, especially if they're married and they're trying to get out of that relationship or situation with someone else. There's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of like, you know, they're not feeling good about it at all. Like it doesn't make them feel good by them doing this. And it could be because they have children or because they have other obligations with that uh, particular person. Like they built, you know, a legacy um, with a karmic partner. And let's just say it's really difficult for them to get out of that situation. But I really feel like they're doing it or they're not telling this to you. They're going through it right now. And um, I really feel like uh, maybe for some, you actually talk to this person every once in a while. And that must be for a few of you. So you, you kind of have an understanding of what's really going on in that relationship with that person. So your person is healing. 
Now, again, I don't know what's up with January, but it's not a lovey-dovey month. Okay, I got it with all of my um, earth signs, at least. <laughs> it's a very slow-moving energy. It's about reflecting, about, you know, really working more on yourself rather than a, an intimate relationship. Maybe that's uh, left for February for Valentine's, right? But that's what I'm seeing here so far. So, you know, there's a level of healing that I'm sensing from your person. So what are the love notes? Spirit, what love messages want to come through for Taurus in the month of January? What is the love message here? What is the love message? I know I'm lacking. I should have left the karmic a long time ago. Again, so this must be specific um, for those who your person is in another marriage or commitment and they're getting out of it. I'm sorry, I lied to you. So maybe they lied to you about, you know, about their karmic partner. They know that they should have left, but honestly, I really feel like they, they held on. Maybe for a few things. Maybe it was because of kids. Maybe it was because of money, you know, and... They had like a little system going on and they just were not ready to break free from it. I'm sorry I took you for granted. So maybe they took you for granted for some time. They're sorry that they lied. They know that they're not the best. Maybe that that's the surprise message that you're receiving from this person. You know, this person knows that, you know, they're not in a relationship with a particular person for the right reasons okay and it may be hard for them to get out of it but i see that they actually are working their way out of that relationship right now that's what i have uh taurus so i mean i'm not seeing that they they cut them off i really feel like there's talks of it they may be sleeping in different rooms um definitely not feeling it they're they're healing you know they're not feeling good so they could be living together still you know, um, and for some, maybe they are getting a, an actual divorce, but I really feel like there's definitely a lot of thoughts about it or movements towards that energy. So let's go ahead and see what is the guidance message for Taurus for the month of January. So Spirit, can you please uh, offer one message here? Yeah, it says, what am I most afraid of losing? And it says, as we grow, change, and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was, to make room for what will be. If you were to take a big leap today, would you feel scared of losing love, safety, and belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was uh, impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give yourself you need to yourself, okay? You have the power to give everything you need to yourself, sorry. Today's soul action, name that fear and look at the worst case scenario, find a solution. Take your power back by being certain of who you are and where you're going. And today's mantra is, I move forward knowing I am powerful beyond measure. I am loved, I am safe, and I belong. Like, I really feel like it's going to take some, some very strong conviction that you're a winner, not a loser, you know? And I feel that that was the energy in the very beginning. So I feel like, you know, they're sad that, you know, they're, they're at a loss. Like, you know, material things could be replaced over time. You know, there might be some sacrifices that your person has to make in order to gain more, okay? This sacrifice may be like, oh, well, they've worked up on that. But imagine if you guys were a powerhouse couple, you guys could rebuild back better, you know, tenfold um, and, and probably done in less amount of time, you know, is what I'm feeling with this particular person. Like, there has to be a letting go of, you know, the fear of losing something that they've worked so hard on. But I mean, was it for the right reason or for the wrong reasons? You know, 
and imagine what they could gain if they were to open up with new opportunities to be with you. Okay. And that's what I'm feeling now. I could be talking about you, Taurus. I really feel like I'm talking about your person over there because they, they felt like they were afraid of losing, you know, all of their their wealth that they built up with, you know, a past partner. Because I really feel like I'm talking to uh, you, Taurus, who is dealing with someone who's married <laughs> or in some sort of commitment or something. Uh, at least that's what it feels like. But that's what I'm seeing. So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, I can dive deeper into your situation. www.scorpionmoonintuition.com You can also follow me on IG as Scorpion Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.